the Westland Wasp has been designed and developed in close cooperation with the British Royal Navy with the object of producing a small, rugged and compact anti-submarine helicopter normally operated from frigates. The Wasp is a development of the five-seat general purpose Scout, a high-performance helicopter of advanced design now in service with the British Army. A specially developed undercarriage with fully castering wheels is incorporated in the design to enable the aircraft to operate in rough weather conditions. An intensive series of trials to prove the undercarriage were undertaken at the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford. These trials were by test drops from varying heights inside a hangar and without power and were then continued to include landings on a rolling platform built by the naval section of the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford. This deck was able to simulate roll conditions experienced at sea and to prove that the aircraft would operate satisfactorily in the conditions asked for in the specification and to withstand a maximum rate of descent onto a deck of seven and a half feet per second. Immediately after touchdown, the aircraft must be retained without sliding or toppling with the ship rolling up to plus or minus 15 degrees, pitching up to plus or minus six degrees and yawing plus or minus three degrees. The WASP has also been designed to operate satisfactorily from ships in wind speeds up to 55 knots. The prototypes of the WASP had, prior to the Bedford trials, carried out intensive deck landing evaluation on HMS Undaunted and HMS Ashanti. The first series of shipborne trials with a fully representative WASP were completed in HMS Nubian. Nubian is a tribal class general purpose frigate of 2,000 tons displacement, fitted with a hangar under the deck to accommodate one anti-submarine strike helicopter. The helicopter lands on top of the hangar, which has a lift on which the aircraft is raised or lowered. Nubian's aircraft accommodation has been specially tailored round the WASP, which is stowed with its tail and blades folded. The spreading of the aircraft is a quick operation, taking only approximately five minutes. The WASP is fitted with a Bristol Sibley Nimbus free turbine engine which can run on either standard aircraft turbine fuel or ship's diesel fuel. In addition to being secured by adjustable straps, the WASP is fitted with a central attachment point which anchors it firmly to the deck. The design of the undercarriage allows the WASP to rotate on this attachment point for takeoff without the ship having to steer into the wind. A release in the cabin under the pilot's control enables him to slip the central attachment point and break the telecommunication connection on takeoff. The straps are released just before takeoff and the pilot then slips the central release point. Although the deck area available for landing is extremely small, approximately 28 by 21 feet, the pilots experienced no difficulty at any stage of the approach or landing. Many hundreds of landings by day and night have been completed on HMS Undaunted, Ashanti, Nubian and Leander. Other roles in which the WASP may be used are passenger transport, in which case four passengers can be carried, casualty evacuation, where one casualty can be carried internally, or the carriage of freight, which can be carried either externally or internally. During the trials, readings were taken of the aircraft's tendency to slip, slide, or topple on the deck. The ship was turned at speed in all directions in order to achieve this. At no time was there any tendency to slide or to topple, a tribute to the design of the undercarriage and to the special non-skid surface of the landing area. The WASP has a reserve of power to give it a good vertical rate of climb for operations from frigates in all parts of the world. It is an integrated part of the frigate's weapons system, increasing the ship's striking power and the range at which it can deliver its weapons. Auto stabilizer equipment in the helicopter provides the accuracy of control under all weather conditions for the effective implementation of the search and location information received from the ship. Normally, two homing torpedoes are fitted, but during the first series of trials, takeoffs and landings were completed with one torpedo only. 
One method of turning the aircraft on deck prior to takeoff is to run the engine while the aircraft is fixed by its central point to the deck and to turn it in the required direction by operating the tail rotor. During an anti-submarine strike, the WASP is directed to the vicinity of the submarine by the ship's radar. The auto-stabilization equipment ensuring that the helicopter is a steady platform during weapon launching. The WASP is fitted with full night flying equipment and a number of dusk and night landings were satisfactorily completed during the Nubian trials. A series of night landings were successfully completed in earlier trials on Undaunted, Ashanti and later on Leander. The aircraft is fitted with an adjustable landing lamp and landings under favourable weather conditions can be safely accomplished without any floodlighting on the deck. Later trials were extended to HMS Leander, which has a large hangar at deck level capable of housing a wasp. Considerable emphasis has been placed on the Leander trials as this class of frigate is likely to have widespread use in the anti-submarine warfare field. In the past, the main limitation of frigates when engaged in anti-submarine search and strike has been the limited range of the ship's weapons. The introduction of helicopter facilities now enables the ships to attack submarines successfully over a much wider area. several of the world's leading navies have now adopted the helicopter as an essential part of a frigate's weapon system. <laughs>